Malayo nang inabot ng iyong diskarte taling at pusabay ang paglakbay tsak ang ating tagumpay Piling ng Pilipino hosted this prestigious event, welcoming all the other 10 nations in Southeast Asia with a big smile. Let's thank our very own president, Rodrigo Duterte, the committee, and the sponsors for this event for a job well done. Let's see some updates of our very own athletes who represents our country. Good day everyone, good day Philippines! I'm here with a point guard coming from Gilas, Filipinas, Terence Romeo. Hi Terence! So, how was your experience during your last game? The last game I've had in the Southeast Asian Games? Yes! Oh, as I remembered, that game was so amazing. And that was like the hard, one of the hardest games I've had in my entire life. And as a representative of our country, we cannot afford to lose and leave our supporters disappointed. Yes, so as we all know, you achieve a great success. So, what is your secret behind your success? A secret? There's no such thing as a secret in, a, in every success. The only thing that makes us win is that having the self determination, yes. the teamwork, and the trust of yourself, your teammates, and also the supporters. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Terrence. As you can see in the line graph, the X axis represents the year where Sea Games started and the Y-axis represents the type of medals garnered by Philippines, specifically bronze, silver, and gold. In 2005, the Federation International Basketball Association, also known as FIBA, suspended Philippines due to conflict between warring groups inside the Basketball Association of the Philippines. That's why there was no game happen in that year. And in 2009, the host country Laos can support some games. And now, Philippines male team basketball has secured gold medals in the years 1977 to 2019, except 1979 and 1989 because they only get silver awards in that years. Meanwhile, Philippines female team basketball garnered several awards, but at some point, they have failed to reach the top three. Luckily, they had acquired a gold medal during the last SEA Games 2019. Back to you, Rhea! we have Christina Marinat. Hi Christina! So how does it feel representing the Philippines? Was it fun or was it hard? Well the game itself was really good but I must say that it is also hard for me because of the challenges and obstacles that are in the way. Especially the pressure and expectation of others but because of it I was able to win the silver medal. So it is really a good experience for me. What were the challenges you've encountered in being an athlete? Well, the challenges in becoming an athlete were just the lack of determination and focus in becoming one. So 
So thank you and congratulations once again. Back to you, Drazen. Mary Flor Diaz captured bronze in the 45 kilogram weightlifting for women in the 2019 SEA Games. Ms. Diaz is here to give tips and advice for young dreamers who are becoming or aspire to be weightlifters someday. So I just want to say that if you have a dreams or goals, like for example for weightlifting, you need to have three different kinds of rules or that must be followed first is the dedication the second is the persistent and the third one is the hard work if you have that kind of um, attitude towards your life or towards what you are doing so you can reach your goals and as well as you can be successful someday so that's it thank you Based on our gathered data, the total awards we had since 1981 to 2019 is decreasing since we got the highest on the starting years and lowest in the current years. Thank you, Ms. Diaz. Now, back to you, Razel. I am Razel Orvida and I am joined by Emmy Rose Dael, a table tennis athlete for the women's singles. Hi, Emmy. Hi. So, how does it feel like to be representing the Philippines with thousands of Filipinos watching your every move? Well, I am very much overwhelmed that I represented Philippines today in the SEA Games. And I hope the next SEA Games I'm still here, loud and proud, representing it. Our single table tennis thank you as you can see from the year 1977 to the year 1997 no medals were won in all categories for both men and women but starting from the year 1999 athlete richard gonzalez won bronze for the singles men after years of zero wins no medals were won the following year in 2005 he won our first ever silver medal from 2009 to 2019 the Philippines was consistent in winning a medal, one bronze for 2009, 2011, 2013, 2019, and one silver for the year 2015. Well, good luck on that, and back to you, Diana. <laughs> I am Diana Makalalad, and today we are joined by Pauline Lopez, a representative for the Taekwondo Women's Division who won the SEA Games 2019. So, okay. hello Pauline Lopez. Hey. We're so proud of you and your performance, and we know that you have high expectations for yourself. And, but still, you made the goal of making it to the podium, and once again compete for the Philippines. So how does it feel like to bring honor to our country? Well, you know, competing in different tournaments, I'm just so honored and proud to be a Filipino and be on the mat and represent the Philippines. So, are there some challenges along the way of making it to the SEA Games 2019? So, of course, um, being a Taekwondo or any athletes um, have experienced challenges. As for mine, um, it will be um, how to maintain my weight and, of course, the um, so intense training. So, can you give us some tips for the aspiring Taekwondo players? So, for those aspiring Taekwondos out there, just kick hard and break a leg. The Taekwondo competition was first included in the SEA Games of 1987, with a good start garnering 9 medals in total, placing 5th. However, the following year, in 1989, the Philippine Taekwondo failed to improve nor maintain its performance with 0 gold medal, 3 silver, and 1 bronze, a total of 4 medals, which was the lowest Philippine medals gathered in the entire SEA Games for Taekwondo. In 1991, 14 medals were attained, 7 gold, 2 silver, while 5 bronze medals. 1993 to 1997 was a constant year 
with a total of 12 medals in a row. Improving by a number, 13 medals were acquired for both 1999 and 2001, and increased by one medal in the following year, 2003. 11 medals were gathered two years in a row, 2005 and 2007, and both 2009 and 2011 secured 12 medals. For the year 2013, the performance increases, attaining 14 medals which consist of 4 golds and silver and 6 bronze. A, a drastic decrease was observed in 2015 with only 8 medals, 3 gold and silver and 2 bronze. 2017 accumulated a total of 9 medals. Philippines reigned for this most recent year, 2019, obtaining 21 medals all in all, having 8 gold, 9 silver, and 4 bronze, which was so far the largest increase in medals and highest record of the Philippines for Taekwondo in SEA Games in the past years. Okay, so thank you so much, Pauline Lopez, and we hope you would be more successful in your career. Thank you too. Back to you, Josh. Good day to each and everyone. I am Joshua Benundo and I am here to interview Jason Huerte of the 2019 Sepak Takraw Team Philippine in the Southeast Asian Games. Hello Jason. Oh hello, yes. How was your training before the tournament? It sounds good. Actually, me and my coach are in excessive training and yes, it is our determination to succeed. After 10 long years, finally the Sepak Takraw Team has earned a gold medal. How does it feel as a Filipino athlete? It makes us proud and it is one of our pride. And yes, fighting. So, thank you, Jason, thank for your you time. So much too. From the years 2001 to 2018, the Philippines Sepak Takraw team has earned a total of 17 medals, 4 silvers, and 13 bronze from the different Sepak Takraw tournaments in the SEA Games held at various Southeast Asian countries. As you can see, there are no data in the years 1977 until 2000 because Sepak Takraw has not been added in international competitions until its first appearance in the 2001 Southeast Asian Games. The graph shows that the Philippines team for Sepak Takraw has been improving over the years with the aid of training, experience, and hard work. Back to you, Carl and Kay. Hoping that they will do another great job in 2021. But first, let's take a look of all our garnered medals since 1977. From year 1977 to 1981, the country garnered 371 medals. Each year presents a color from lighter to darker, from gold to bronze, respectively. From year 1983 to 1987, the country gathered 485 medals. The number of medals increased in these years. From year 1989 to 1993, the country gathered 552 medals. The medals garnered of the Philippines combining all sports are continuously increasing. From year 1995 to 1999, the country gathered 441 medals. In these years, the medals been gathered from all the sports decreases. From year 2001 to 2005, the country gathered 193 gold, 204 silver, 236 bronze, a total of 663 medals. The number of medals drastically increased. From year 2007 to 2011, the country garnered 521 medals. The number of medals from this slightly decreased. From year 2013 to 2017, the country garnered 352 medals. There is a great change in the gathered medals because in the span of 2013 to 2017, the medals garnered decreases. In the year 2019, Philippines has owned 140 gold medals, 117 silver medals, and 121 bronze medals, a total of 387 medals. That's why Philippines 
ranked first on the SEA Games 2019. Underestimated you at every step. But the journey wasn't alone. We are resilient. Advocate of authentic news. Your voice towards truth and justice. This is News Republic. Republic.